नमस्कार आप सभी का स्वागत है मैं हूं राहुल और आप देख रहे हैं पीएमई विद्या चैनल्स हम लेकर हाजिर हैं अपना लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन लेकर जो कि है क्लास टेंथ का एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज केमिस्ट्री हालांकि ये साइंस का विषय है जिसमें केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स बायोलॉजी ये सभी कुछ हम पढ़ते हैं तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एंड द टॉपिक इज कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड दिस इज द पार्ट सेवन दिस इज चैप्टर फोर ऑफ योर टेक्स्ट बुक Uh, we have our guest Ms. Ankita Dureja. She is a TGT Chemistry uh, in DAV Public School, Guru Gram. Ankita ji, namaskar and a very warm welcome in the session. Namaste, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I also would like to invite all my students and uh, uh, viewers of this uh, channel. Uh, you can also connect with us through telephone number eight eight zero zero four four zero five five nine, and you can send us an email. You can use this email for further communication if you have any questions or queries. Uh, DTS dot class ten at the rate of CIET. dot nic dot in these are the coordinates so miss ankita i would like to invite you on the screen and would uh, like to ask you um, would you please uh, share some recap of the past six sessions because today we have a uh, seventh session and i'm sure uh, this is not an easy task for any student to recall all the all the sessions in one go and you know uh, be ready for the seventh session yes definitely sir so welcome my dear students for session 7 of carbon and its compounds We'll quickly have a recap of session six. We studied about chemical properties of carbon compounds. Where we studied about combustion. Where we studied about oxidation. Where we studied about substitution. We also studied about addition reactions. We also started with ethanol and we completed topic ethanol. Ethanol is basically ethyl alcohol, and the formula is C2H5OH, which is the second member of alcohol family. Kindly correlate with previous sessions. Ethanol is your colorless liquid. It is soluble in water. When it reacts with sodium, it forms sodium ethoxide and hydrogen. And on reaction with concentrated sulfuric acid, which was dehydrating agent, the product formed were ethene and water. Unlike ethanol, intake of methanol in very small quantities caused death. It is fatal, my dear students. So now coming back to the task which was given to you. Please check your answers. The answers are reflected on the screen. Okay. So now we are going to start the topic which is related to the present session, and that is ethanoic acid, which is the second member of carboxylic acid family. The common name is acetic acid, and the formula is CH3COOH. Commonly, where do you find ethanoic acid? It is found in vinegar. Everybody uses vinegar at home. It is used as a preservative, which contains five to eight percent of acetic acid. If you talk about its melting point, it is two ninety kelvin, and it often freezes out during winter. जब आप बोतल देखेंगे तो नोइंग एसिड की विंटर्स में, it has solid solidification, so it often freezes during winter in cold climate. So it is glacial acetic acid. Why the word glacial is written here? Because it solidifies in winters. Now, when you compare your ethanoic acid with other mineral acids like HCl, you will come to know that ethanoic acid is a weak acid, and mineral acids are usually strong acids. Now, first we will see a small video in order to identify weak and small acids. So I have arranged this. There are two watch glasses, as you can see. First watch glass is containing acetic acid CH3COOH. Second watch glass is containing HCl. I am going to dip some litmus paper. Carefully observe your observations. Just a second, my dear students. I hope my video is visible to all. Yes. Yeah. So carefully see. I am dipping red litmus. Firstly, it does not show any color. and then i will uh, dip this red litmus in hcl it will also not show any color because these are acids acids does not show any color change with red litmus in the second turn i am going to dip blue litmus in both the liquids now when i dip blue litmus now initially you will not see any color but slightly it will change its color to red and moment i dip it in hcl it has changed its color to pure red now you see in hcl it immediately turned to red but in ch3coh only slight color of red only slight so this is an indication that acetic acid is weak acid again you can test the same with help of ph indicator that is universal indicator 
If I add pH paper, now carefully observe, in CH3COH, if I am adding, there is some color change. We're going, we are going to match it with the pH paper later on. Now I am dipping it in HCl and see the color. Wow, it is red. So now this is my pH meter. I am going to compare. This HCl is close to 1, 1 value of pH. And this is close to 6 value of pH. So with this indicator, you can come to know about the pH values also. And you can distinguish between the two acids that HCl was your strong acid, which is actually completely ionizing. And your other one that is acetic acid is a weak acid which do not completely ionize. This is the most important point. Now, when we talk about other reactions of ethanoic acid, the most, most, most important reaction is esterification reaction. Esterification means there is formation of an ester. Now, what do you mean by word ester, my dear student? It is fruity smelling compound. You have to carefully observe the setup which is shown on the screen. I have taken a tripod stand. I have taken a wire gauze. From bottom, there is a burner. And there is one beaker in which I have added water. Now, this is water bath. Water bath is basically warm water contained in beaker. And I have taken one tube. In this tube, I have added three things. First is ethanoic acid. Kindly look at the reactions, which is there on the screen. I have added ethanoic acid. Then I have added ethanol, that is C2H5OH. And third thing is acid, which I am adding, that is concentrated sulfuric acid. Now, my dear students, I am writing something on the paper. Kindly see the reactions carefully because you need to know this. Now, I am writing ethanoic acid on the paper. Please see. Now, this is my acid. In this, I am adding ethanol, which is C2H5OH. Uh, is it visible, sir? Yes. To my students? Okay. Yes. Now I am adding concentrated sulfuric acid. Now I can write this C2H5OH as this also. Please see, my dear students. Now, what will happen? This concentrated sulfuric acid is actually a dehydrating agent, it removes water. How it will remove water? It will remove OH from this and it will remove H from this. I have used colored pen so that you can distinguish. Now, whatever is left after removing water, club it. What it will be formed? It okay. is CH3COOC2H5. Can you see? Okay. Now, this is known as ester which is a fruity smelling compound usually used as a flavoring agent. Now, this ester along with it, there is formation of water. And basically when you are conducting this experiment, you will raft the vapors of these obviously ester formed and you will see that fruity smelling coming up, that very pleasant smell. You must have used vanilla essence in the case. Hmm, yes. smell aati hai isme. Okay. So this is known as a sterification reaction, which is formation of an ester. When we talk about other reactions, kindly look at the screen. Ethanoic acid is an acid, and when it reacts with a base, what happens when acid and base reacts together? It's a neutralization reaction. And the neutralization products are salt and water. So I have taken NaOH, which is my base. I have added ethanoic acid. Can you look at the reactions? Uh, 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 see my cursor. So it is CH3COONA, which is the formation of a salt. And water is formed. So this is basically a neutralization reaction, which is forming a salt whose name is sodium acetate. Same way, when I do another reaction of ethanoic acid, what happens? I take ethanoic acid and I react it with carbonates. Carbonates can be sodium carbonate, carbonate can be hydrogen carbonate. And my students have done this reaction in chapter 2 of chemistry that whenever the base like carbonates react with acid, obviously salt is formed, obviously my CO2 is released and water is formed. Now you are going to see one very good video 
this is conduction of this activity where I am adding sodium carbonate in ethanoic acid. So, can you see this U tube? Yes. Yes. So, I am going to show you how it takes place. In this long tube, I am going to add sodium carbonate. And in this U tube, I have taken lime water. That is a clear liquid right now, you can see. Now, I am going to add sodium carbonate. Once I add sodium carbonate, I will take a dropper and I will add acetic acid. Here I would like to mention one point. Whenever you are conducting any experiment related to chemistry, please label your test tube so that they, it avoids confusions, right? right? So now you are going to take the liquid that is CH3COH with the dropper and one very important precaution here, you are going to add this acid alongside the tube. Now you can see the evolution of gas, can you see the bubbles coming up? Hmm. Here at my cursor, there's some yes. bubbles. Now that is an indication that there is evolution of a gas. Now I'm going to close this tube and now carefully observe this water area, this lime water area. It is moving, can you see? That means CO2 is passing now. And moment CO2 is passed in lime water, it changes its color. It is lime water turning out to be milky. Can you see the turbid color coming up? Yes. That is an indication that carbon dioxide, when it is passed in water or lime water, it changes its color. As my students have done this reaction before, kindly correlate. Now, this was the reaction of acid reacting with carbonates. One very important topic comes up, which is also a reaction of ethanoic acid. Now, when I take ethanoic acid, I react it with ethanol with concentrated H2SO4. We have just done that there is formation of an ester. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to take that ester and we are going to add alkaline to it. My dear students, please remind, alkali is water-soluble base. Now, when this alkali is going to add in this, what happens? Alkaline hydrolysis of ester take place. Kindly look what I am writing. Now you can easily see on my paper, I have just formed ester. My paper is visible, Rahul sir? Yes. Okay. Now what I am going to do it, I am going to take this ester and I am going to react this ester with an alkali, NaOH. Now what will happen? This alkali will hydrolyze this ester. How? This Na will go here and this OH will comes up with this. Can you see? Okay. Okay. So now what will be the product? Product will be... Would you please move up your paper? Yes, definitely. Is it visible? Yes, now we have some space. Okay, so now what will be formed? CH3COONA. Na will go with this. Okay. And OH will come with C2H5OH. It okay. will be C2H5OH. Oh. So what is this? This is nothing but this is soap. And preparation of soap, my dear students, is known as saponification reaction. Did you get it? Okay. It was yes. so simple. Mm -hmm. So now when I talk about soap, I am going to do one more thing in this structure. Please see carefully. This was my starting acid. Can you see everybody? Yes. So here, if I consider this CH3 group as my R group, let us consider as R group. This R group is having how many carbons? Only one carbon. Right? Yes? Okay. Yes. So now I am going to increase number of carbon in this R group. Suppose consider I take this R as C17H35. Yes? Okay. So now what will be my acid? It will be C17H35. 
C O O H. Yes. Okay. Now I react it with ethanol. I add concentrated sulfuric acid. It will remove water because it was a dehydrating agent. And now this ester which will be formed, this R group will change here also. What hmm. will be the R group here? It will be C seventeen H thirty five. Yes. Okay. So now this ester. Which is C seventeen. Uh, would you please move up your paper? Yes. Okay. Is it visible? Yes. Now it is. So this CH three I have replaced it with C seventeen H thirty five. Okay. So what is my ester? C seventeen H thirty five C O O C two H five. C two H five. Now if I add NaOH in this, so what will happen? I will place this CH three by C seventeen H thirty five. Yes. So okay. ultimately, 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 if I write, this was my formula, C seventeen H thirty five C O O N A, as my product form. Okay. Yes or no? Okay. Yes. Now this is actually explaining the perfect definition for soap. It is sodium or potassium salt of long chain carboxylic acid. Now I can make this chain as long chain. Can you see? What are these? These are my carbons, and this is a long chain where I end it with CO negative and positive. This is nothing but this is actually explaining so. Okay. Now, when I talk about now, please come to my screen. Okay. This is nothing but it is sodium stearate. This is nothing but this is sodium stearate. Now, when I say sodium stearate, the formula is C seventeen H thirty five C O O N A. And you are going to study one very good topic now, and that is preparation of soap with cleansing action. Now, cleansing action means you have taken that soap. Now you can easily see this soap. I have just explained you this long chain part and the other part of the soap. Now this soap is actually divided into two parts. One part is hydrophobic. Phobic मतलब क्या समझते हैं राहुल जी आप? Phobic, phobia. Yes, सही कह रहा है, सही कहा आपने. Phobia मतलब डर. जी. डर लगना. जी. So this hydrocarbon part, which is the long chain, which is the carbon part, it is hydrophobic. इसको पानी से डर लगता है. तो पानी के साथ तो ऑब्वियसली ये बॉन्ड नहीं बनाएगा बट द अदर पार्ट इज आइनिक पार्ट सी ओ ओ नेगेटिव एन ए पॉजिटिव इस सोप मॉलिक्यूल में द डिफरेंट पार्ट इज वॉटर लविंग इसका मतलब वो पानी से बॉन्ड बनाएगा तो अब जब हम कपड़े वॉश करते हैं व्हाट हैपेंस? संकेता जी मैं संकेता वुड यू प्लीज ड्रैग द टास्क बार ऑफ योर शेयरिंग सॉफ्टवेयर यस बिकॉज दैट यू नो डिस्ट्रैक्ट अस टू यू नो वॉच द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन Okay, is it fine, sir? Right now? Yes, perfectly fine. Okay. You may please go ahead. Okay. Yes. So my soap molecule is having a log chain, which is a hydrocarbon part, water repelling. It will not form bond with water, and the ionic part will form bond with water. अब क्या होगा? जब आप एक cloth जिस पे कोई stain लगा हुआ है, आप उसको dip करेंगे अपने water bucket में. Hmm. Soap molecule डालेंगे. These soap molecules will try to align itself. कैसे align करेंगे? उस डर्ट के साथ उस स्टेन के साथ कौन बॉन्ड बनाएगा जो ऑयल लविंग पार्ट है और ऑयल लविंग पार्ट कौन सा होता है हाइड्रोकार्बन पार्ट है जो आप जिग्जैक्ट लाइन देख रहे हैं ये वाला पार्ट एंड द अदर पार्ट इज योर आइनिक पार्ट जो किससे बॉन्ड बनाएगा वाटर के साथ बॉन्ड बनाएगा सो अल्टीमेटली इफ यू कैन सी हियर कैन यू सी माई स्क्रीन यस नाउ यू कैन सी दिस पिक्चर इसमें क्या दिख रहा है आपको सोप मॉलिक्यूल ने अपने आप को अलाइन कर लिया यस yes. अब इस सोप मॉलिक्यूल ने कैसे अलाइन किया है जो आप सेंटर में सर्कल सा देख रहे हैं दिस इज ऑयल ये वो स्टेन है जो आपके क्लॉथ पे लगा हुआ है नाउ व्हेन यू हैव एडेड वाटर इनटू इट द हाइड्रोकार्बन पार्ट फॉर्म बॉन्ड विद दिस ऑयल ड्रॉप एंड दिस आयनिक पार्ट वेयर Na+ एंड दिस स्मॉल सर्कल इज बीइंग मेड इट इज फॉर्म बॉन्ड विद द वाटर सो अल्टीमेटली दिस यूनिक ओरिएंटेशन where the hydrophobic part which is the tail part it is in the interior of the cluster this is the cluster of oil and it is at the interior of the cluster and the ionic part it is at the surface of the cluster this unique orientation is known as micelle yes hmm okay 
and this micelle stay in solution as a colloid. It will not come together to precipitate due to ion-ion repulsions. The dirt suspended in these micelles is easily rinsed off and the soap molecule, the soap micelle are large enough to scatter light and as a whole the soap solution becomes cloudy, cloudy. and it is showing you the cleansing action of soap. Okay. So now, when I talk about other things, when I do washing, now you tell me, ab hamara jo pani aata hai taps mein, wo hard hota hai ki soft hota. First of all, I want to know, do you know what is the difference between soft water and hard water? Uh, I think yes. What is the difference? But I am not able to tell you. Okay, no problem. <laughs> so soft water. <laughs> Soft water is having no ions. My students must be knowing it. They have done yes. it many times. Okay. So soft water is having no ions. Hard water contains calcium and magnesium ions. Huh. So now, when I add soap solution in both the waters, now please see there is one very good activity. I have taken soft water and hard water hmm. and I am going to add soap solution in equal amounts in both the test tubes. When I do so, what happens? I will shake the tubes in which I have added the soap solution and the shaking should be proper in equal amount. I will close the top of the tube mm -hmm. and I am doing shaking. Just see, the shaking should be equal, hmm. up and down, up and down. Hmm. If you do equal shaking, you will see one very interesting fact that soft water I would like to compare. This is my soft water hmm. and this is my hard water. You can see the more amount of foam or lather is formed in soft water. मतलब जब आप कपड़े वॉश करेंगे तो आपको सोप अच्छा रिजल्ट देगा सॉफ्ट वाटर में। सॉफ्ट वाटर में। लेकिन प्रॉब्लम ये है कि सॉफ्ट वाटर तो हमारी टैप्स में आता ही नहीं। हम्म। We have hard water. तो hard water के लिए what should we use? We should use first we will just see the difference. You can see hard water and soft water. Soft water is forming more lather. Hard water is not forming that foam. ऐसा क्यों? क्योंकि hard water में there are some ions present. और अगर आयंस प्रेजेंट हो जाते हैं तो वो लैथर बनने नहीं देते हैं एंड इट फॉर्म्स कम सो मोर फॉर्म टेस्ट ट्यूब वो सॉफ्ट वाटर टेस्ट ट्यूब एंड द स्कम वाज देयर इन हार्ड वाटर टेस्ट ट्यूब स्कम क्या होता है इनसॉल्युबल प्रेसिपिटेट होता है जो ज्यादा फॉर्म बनने नहीं देता अब ये जो प्रॉब्लम है ये कैसे सॉल्व हो कुछ नहीं करना हमें डिटर्जेंट्स यूज करना है एंड व्हाट आर डिटर्जेंट्स डिटर्जेंट्स आर एक्चुअली लॉन्ग Chains of sulfonic acid. Can you see the structure? वहाँ हमने क्या किया था? एक long chain आपका hydrocarbon का part था और वहाँ पे COO negative and NA positive था, right? Okay. But यहाँ पे क्या है? SO3 negative and NA positive with single O attachment. So ये जो detergents हैं, they are long chain sodium salts of sulfonic acid. अब ऐसा क्या हो जाता है detergent में कि वो अच्छी तरह से wash करते हैं? See, when we talk about soap. With hard water, it do not form more lather, right? But when we talk about detergents with hard water, it actually does not form those insoluble precipitate which was scum. This insoluble precipitate of calcium and magnesium salt is not formed in hard water. So detergents wash well with hard water. Now detergent use करने की अपनी अपनी advantage और अपनी अपनी disadvantage होती है. अब डिटर्जेंट के एडवांटेज क्या है कि हार्ड वाटर में हम उससे क्लोथ्स अपने साफ कर सकते हैं, क्लीन कर सकते हैं। But what is the disadvantage of using detergents? Detergent causes pollution. Now, my dear students, I have just arranged one differentiation between your soap and detergent. Kindly look on the screen. Soaps are sodium salt of fatty acids. Detergents are sodium salt of sulfonic acid. Soap clean well in soft water. Detergents clean well in both the waters. Soaps are biodegradable, do not cause pollution, but detergents are non-biodegradable, it causes pollution. And when we talk about the fourth point, it is soap forms come in hard water and in detergents, it do not forms come in hard water. So, each one of them have their own advantage and disadvantage, right? Okay. So, what have we concluded today? We started with ethanoic acid. We discussed various reactions of ethanoic acid. Formation of ester we have seen, formation of soap we have seen, and we also discussed the reaction of ethanoic acid with bases, reaction of ethanoic acid with carbonates, with release of carbon dioxide gas. 
and we studied soap which is having a cleansing property by formation of micelle which is a unique orientation where hydrophobic part align itself with the oil and hydrophilic part align itself that is the ionic part which align itself with the water and we have seen the difference between soaps and detergents so i have prepared one task for my students to do okay the first question which my students will be doing is if you wash your clothes in alcohol instead of water what will happen this is a very interesting question ki agar water use na karke hum alcohol mein apne kapdon ko wash karenge to kya hoga my i would like my students to explore the answer okay. and i would also like my students to prepare their own soap apna khud ka soap bhi ban sakta hai how yes. how you have to search how it will be formed aur hmm. apne soap pe na rose petals dal ke fragrance aisa kuch <laughs> प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दैट दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड यू कैन वॉच ऑल दीज से इन वन गो on youtube and cert's official youtube channel this uh, uh, session will be uploaded on youtube later on okay uh, so i would like to thank uh, ankita ji for your time and for uh, you know exploring uh, soaps and detergent uh, detergents and i'm sure hamare jo students hain wo ghar mein ye jo practical karenge chemistry ka usme unhe bahut zyada maza aayega aur chemistry ki class practical class if i you know talk about it wo hamesha hi uh, ek uh, jigyasa ka kendra rehti hai Uh, क्योंकि जब भी बच्चे उसमें जाते हैं तो कुछ ना कुछ बदमाशी जरूर करते हैं कहीं से कुछ धुआं निकल रहा होता है कहीं से कुछ ब्लास्ट yes, होता है छोटा yes. सा बट आई एम श्योर उनको थोड़ा सा केयरफुल uh, रहना होगा ताकि कोई उन्हें हार्मफुल uh, कोई एक्टिविटी ना करे यस यस राइट और अब स्कूल भी खुल रहे हैं श्योर हम, हमें जो yes. है हंसते खिलखिलाते बच्चे देखने के लिए मिलेंगे हम श्योर आप भी स्कूल जाएंगे और बच्चों को पढ़ाएंगे आपने अपना समय दिया और ये कार्बन का चैप्टर पूरा किया और उसका कम्पाउंड का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया बहुत आभार आपका थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू हमारा ये साइंस का सेशन क्लास टेंथ का यहीं समाप्त होता है आप कहीं मत जाइएगा पी एम ई विद्या चैनल्स पर हम यूं ही बने रहेंगे अभी हाजिर होते हैं थोड़ी ही देर में अगला सेशन लेकर जो कि है संस्कृत का देखते रहिए पी एम ई विद्या चैनल्स नमस्कार